Now I'm going to show you one of the horrors of the garden and this is the monolepta beetle, also called a red-shouldered leaf beetle. And you can see that it has a red band across its back and quite often with monolepta beetles you can actually smell them before you see them. And they come in swarms and have no natural predators. First sign of them, act, do something. So you can reach for chemicals and I'm afraid I'm not allowed to recommend chemicals to you. Uh, but you can Google that, so you'll get some information on what you can use to spray them with online. Or there are a couple of little organic tricks that you can try if you want to try and take control in your garden to stop these little beasts eating everything that they come across. So here's tip number one. Monolepta beetles love the colour white. So if you get a white bowl or a white container, fill it with water and place it near the tree, you'll find that quite a few of them will drown. Now in order to not drown your friendly bugs or effective friendly bugs, don't put anything in the water. So just clean water and put a little stick in it so that the bees and stuff can find their way out of the water. Here is tip number two. And I love this. I actually use this for citrus bugs, which are another really horrid garden pest. So what you need is a bucket with some soapy water in it. And you'll find that if you put too much in it, it will be too heavy and too hard to hold. So I've just got almost too much in this. And then you need a whacking stick. And what you are aiming to do is whack as many bugs from the bug spot into the bucket where they're gonna drown. So hold your bucket under the bugs and then whack. Now you can see that some of them fly away, but you also catch quite a few in your bucket of soapy water where they drown. And it's a fantastic organic method of pest control. And it's actually really quite satisfying. So I really enjoy this. Great for monolepta beetles and great for citrus bugs. Mm -hmm. 